right, we're checking out the only game where you can overdo the testing of planet destruction so much that it destroys all existence. It's Solar Smash. And just like that, because of murdering people in unusual ways, we have unlocked a new planet. Now, obviously, beyond the absolute gigantic amount of new things that there are, like laser-eyed doge, I don't normally condone ghost-on-ghost -ghost violence, but this is kind of interesting. As well as a healing black hole. I don't really know how you heal something that's made out of ectoplasmic peanut butter and jelly, but it works. There are additional things, such as Flat Mars. <laughs> Obviously, I'm assuming you understand how one would go about getting something like this. What you do is you take your slice of American cheese, you put it inside of Mars, you take your disco ball over here. Obviously, for something like this, you can't just use one, right? Like, you have to try and completely break the game. Well, you know what? Let's just pause this, slow this down so that we can get as many disco balls as possible. If you're gonna get cataracts and have your retinas detached from your eyes, in the name of science, you might as well do it thoroughly after all. I'm sacrificing my computer so that you don't have to. Now, as you notice, the glorious fireworks of dollar store level Star Wars will begin to murder everything except for the tiny slice of pepperoni that we have cored out in the middle here. I need a couple on the top. I don't think I have any, I don't think I have any Prince concerts going on on the, on the top of the bottom over here. Oh god, that is a lot of lasers! <laughs> if there's one thing I love about Solar Smash, it is the complete disdainment for limitations. There are no limitations in Solar Smash. <laughs> I need to zoom out a little bit more so we can even see what is happening. What happens if we go in full speed? You know, I'm surprised at how smooth this is in full speed. There's all your Unity 5 lighting effects right there. Now, all of us are blind. You're welcome. Every single person out there. We cleared up the entire planet except for this tiny little volcano on the bottom. That's pretty good. I'm gonna give you your time to shine, Doge. Go ahead, here, you and all of your little Doji friends. There we go, they all kind of run in. They all look judgmentally at what was left of Mars. And then they all just fall. I love how gravity just takes over and they all just fall to their deaths to leave. That was a healing ray. Like how much, how much does a healing ray heal? Oh, wow. But can you like... Oh, yeah. You can just make all kinds of ridiculous stuff with the healing ray. Uh, hold on one second. I have an idea. I just need to throw some moons at the problem to clear this out real fast. Oh. I have smashed the planet, but I'm, I'm not done smashing it yet. Now I have to go in here and murder poor Mars all over again. You know, I'll throw some lightning in there too. Maximum Thor! Don't mind me, I'm just using up all of my tactical missiles real quick. I love that the, that the tactical missiles are very, very languid. Like, they're kind of lazy missiles. Some of them just give up halfway toward the planet. They're just like, I forgot why I was here in the first place. You can see them just kind of like slowly looming until they eventually hit something. I do love also that while the pieces of the planet get pulled in by the black holes, the missiles are not affected at all. All right, think we cleaned up everything real good. And there is Flat Mars. Now the entire point, obviously, of Flat Mars is, is one real thing. Oh, you knew this was coming. Oh, I fired 1,000 weapons in the making of this yeet. Now I will say, when your planet does have a gigantic yeet drawn on it, it probably is a cry for help. This is the populace saying, please, Greystill Place has done so much to us already. Also, get out of the way. I don't like it when other things that aren't important to me circle the flat Mars. Like, you know, the moon and the sun. That may have been the Earth. I'm not really sure. They all kind of look the same to me when they're blowing up. Oh. Oh, God. I almost murdered the sun immediately. I'm trying to keep it alive because it provides some level of light. <laughs> now, if you want to get a perfect circle right through Mars, how, how big is a moon compared to flat Mars? Very small. Also, what does this defensive satellite actually do? Like, if I put those in, and then we slow things down, and then we go over to our tactical missiles, does it stop them? Because I can lay down a lot of missiles very, very quickly, you understand. So I'm not sure how many defenses would be required to stop, like, you know, this titanic onslaught of sadness. 
Oh. Oh, never mind. Oh, they're pretty good. Okay. Uh, I think I vastly underestimated the amount of missiles I would need to blow up flat Mars. Flat Mars is heavily protected. I mean, will they will they go after Cthulhu? It's like a thing that they care about. Oh, Cthulhu was pretty smart. He came in from the back door. That sounds terrible. They are still shooting Cthulhu though, right there. And let's let's try the top side. There you go. I'll give you guys a bunch of Cthulhus to work on. I mean, they're giving it their best. I need to get an infinite number of these defensive lasers just to see what it looks like when so many of them are trying to shoot down stuff that's trying to murder flat Mars. I got hungry before I started to do the uh, the defense systems. I wanted to turn Mars into an onion ring. Here we are on terraformed Mars. Now, first things first, we're gonna put down, you know, a lot of these, like enough of these to the point where I probably can't even see the planet looking from this direction because there's so many of them. This is where all the Martian tax dollars go, okay? When you buy property on Mars, and like, you know, a 500 square foot loft costs you about $6 million a month. This is why everyone on Mars got tired of the gray still plays murder fest. So now they've put all of their cash into orbital defense systems. I can still see some ocean. That means we need more orbital defense systems. Now you're going to notice too that all of the orbital defense systems are stacked on one side right now. One that's because, you know, the game is slowly starting to break for me. And the other reason is, I assume that this is probably where Florida is. All right, yeah, the game is uh, barely moving right now. That's fantastic. So what happens if we start throwing in all of the different, you know, like fighter jets and stuff? Give these guys something to do. Oh, hold on, let me, let me slow down the speed here because it is about to be an absolute firestorm of infinite sadness. More, more. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Woo! All the colors of the rainbow! <laughs> Hold on a second, I need to pause this. Now, okay, good, I was gonna make sure. We haven't even gotten close to damaging the planet yet. So we have, you know, the, the gigantic procession of, of uh, spaceships coming in here, but obviously that's not enough. I don't know if they can shoot down the real Martian ships. Oh, God. Oh, the game. Oh, they can, they can absolutely shoot down the Martian ships, the UFOs and everything. How about these the little ringy guys that like, whoa. Uh, okay. What about the healing ones? Like, would you shoot down a healing ship? It's here to heal you. Oh, it doesn't. They're intelligent. Like the smartest defense system ever. I would have just figured it would come down and murder everything completely indiscriminately. How about this? Can it shoot down these? You know, like the, the gigantic battle, uh, like carrier over here. Actually, why well, have one carrier when you can have a lot of them? I love that if you spawn too many, they just run into one another. It's like no one wants to move aside in traffic. Everyone's taking up the, the left hand lane, like the fast lane. They all just keep <laughs> They'll just keep like rear-ending one another. All right. Uh, okay, so they can take a larger hit. I will say that at the very least. It takes more damage to get rid of them because supposedly they have some shielding on them, but they still die horribly because you know, we have like 4,000 orbital defense systems out here. Okay, can these kill Space Doge? That'd be kind of weird if they could. Oh no. Uh-oh. Yeah, they cannot. Fortunately, because I have the little Healy guy just going around the planet, all the damage that the dog did, this thing healed up. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Uh, how about the uh, tentacle ship over here? How about that? How's that do? Oh, they are firing. Oh no, space squid down. Okay, then we have the massive worm. Most things have fallen to my orbital system so far, uh, but every once in a while, I don't know if this is like the stealth bomber, of planet destruction, but they do not care about this thing at all. Like it is going straight into the front, <laughs> onto the front lawn and no one cares. And there we go. What am I paying you guys for? Is there a collision? Like, whoa, okay. Uh, I don't, okay. I didn't think that it killed these things. They absolutely do. I guess it just depends. Look at that. 
Oh, you can just put bodies. Hold on, I wanna fi Now that I know that this is possible, we have to fill space with just an infinite amount of like dead worm bodies. Hold on, we're 100% we're, we're doing this. I need to put this on super slow-mo so I can click as many times as humanly possible. Let's get a few coming from this side. There we go. Look at just how, I don't know if the game is breaking or if the space worms are breaking, but all the segments are detaching and they are just flying everywhere. Let's go ahead and put a couple hundred on this side over here. I love this. The defensive satellite is probably one of my favorite things right now. This is great. Oh my God. <laughs> I think we may be the reason that space has become cluttered with like biodegradable material. There is just chunks going all over the galaxy. The game is 100% unable to function at this point because there's so many worm bits everywhere. On the plus side, I've only killed 600 million people. Even if I fast forward, oh, fast forwarding makes this even worse. Okay, the, the gigantic like massive tentacle beast over here of extra worms, I think is going to get into the planet. I think that the orbital system was finally overpowered. I wouldn't know because I can't move the camera. <laughs> <laughs> FPS simulator 1991 go hey we're up to 900 million dead people exactly 910 only 10 million people die with every frame oh we had 7 million people oh there we go now we're starting to get big damage so yeah the the uh the defense satellites finally got taken down effectively they finally got overrun I just had to you know throw about 700 space sand worms at the problem over here. Unfortunately, not only did it murder the planet, it also murdered my computer. So we've got our block world over here, but I think you can get even more meta. So we're gonna take our block world and then we're going to block the block world. Obviously the best way to do this is with stupid amount of dance party remixes. Oh, I can feel the migraine. I love it. This is probably my favorite way to dig up diamonds. All right, it's not blocky enough. It kind of just looks like a D20 in Dungeons and Dragons. Hold on. Go ahead and squish this down a little more. All right, Space Doge, you're up. You and all of your friends. I love how the tail is the most fluffiest thing on the dog. Don't mind me, just doing a little bit of planetary surgery over here. You gotta clean up a little bit, you know what I mean? And then should you be a terrible person enough, that, that you take, you know, first all life off of the surface of the planet by surgically removing it with a gigantic blast laser. How much of the Earth's surface is water? I mean, it's zero now. I mean, technically it's not Earth, it's Block World, but I feel like it may have been heavily inspired by Earth, but now we can have Block World cubed. Now that is meta. It's a block world of a block world. Nothing with any curvature is allowed inside of here. And it is a very lava-y core. Now obviously when you have a core that is all lava like this, you need to grab your soccer balls and you need to put them inside, deep inside the block world. More soccer balls. More! Now you may say, Greg, how many soccer balls do you put in there? Well, you have to put enough soccer balls until you start losing frame rate. When you start losing your frame rate, that is when you know that there is enough soccer balls. See how the soccer balls are still moving around quite nicely? Not enough soccer balls. I will put on an auto clicker here if I have to. Oh, I found it. I found a limit. There's actually a limit. It won't let me do anymore. That's hilarious. Okay. All right, Disco Ball. For those about to rock, we salute you. <laughs> I love soccer. Oh my God. <laughs> I love that all of the soccer balls blew up and really it only did like 20% damage. That's pretty impressive to be honest with you. Like if we let this kind of go through over here. Now it did, you know, turn the middle of, of block world, blocky block world. It's like Marky Mark of planets into a Jenga set inside. But that is not as bad as I would have previously anticipated at all. Oh, when we did that, it didn't just unlock the cube, it unlocked the donut as well. That's hot. This looks unbelievably delicious. 
It's like a slightly moldy blueberry donut. I'm sure the mold is packed filled with like vitamins and minerals and stuff. If I put a ton of these into the middle of the donut, do they all just leave? Yeah, they do. I mean, you could like slow things down and then put a bunch of those in there and probably shoot like a couple of rockets at it or something. I really have no idea. And let me fire as many of these as I can get going. Then we'll move back over to the explosive guys over here and get these moving as well. Now, I think a few of them ended up just running into the balls on their way in, which is very sad. Then, you know, not yet. Not yet. Almost. And now? I got a couple of them. I will go ahead and send a, a firestorm of rockets at the problem, too. Oh, wow, yeah, they run into each other, like, as you're spawning them and just begin blowing up. In that case, I guess if you had to, you could just use the beam over here and just, like, hit them that way. Like so. That does some damage. There's still a lot of rockets, too, that are going to rain down. They're just unbelievably slow. This is, like, the most unexcited rain in the entire universe. Look at this. I've got a little popcorn box filled with explosives over here. And the rockets are like, man, maybe we'll go in. Oh, there's one little cube that fell off of the planet. That's kind of interesting. Okay, now they're starting to get, like, a chain of explosions happening. So at this point, I think all the different balls are flying around because they keep getting pulled in by the planet's gravity, which I don't even understand how that would exist because it's just a donut. And then, you know, the the sad winder missiles, I guess we'll call them because of how slowly they move, are falling into the pit of popcorn despair and thus blowing up my beautiful molded blueberry donut. That right there is how you go on a diet. Now that's not it, there's also a water world. Which one of you can blow up a planet instantaneously? Is it you? I don't really remember, it's been a while. I've blown up a lot of planets, all right? Oh, it's you. You're the planet destroyer. Uh, it's been a long time since we hung out together, okay? Yeah, I got something for you. Bon appetit. You may say to yourself, great. The planet doesn't look destroyed yet. Listen, like a fine wine, it takes a little bit. There you go. <laughs> it takes a while for it to, uh, you know, warm up, so to speak. It's aged. Now we can go in here and get our true water world. It looks kind of more like a, uh, like a jello world. It's very gelatinous. I really don't know how a water world would react to, you know, explosions and stuff. I imagine it would just evaporate a little bit and then regenerate. Yeah, it kind of regenerates over time. Hold on, I have an idea. Now we can take our little, like, timed bombs. We can shoot these until my finger gets tired. Now do they, like, do they drown in the water or can you keep using them? I can't tell if they're under the water, like they're sunk. Oh yeah, I can see. Look at them. You can see the little, uh, the little blinking lights in the water, so they're there. <laughs> More. Obviously, we need to go completely ridiculous with this. There's no reason to, uh, just do this part way. This is a great opportunity to find out, like, what if you took a water world and you increased the ambient temperature to, like, 6 billion degrees? Maybe you get, like, a steam world or something. How many of these are you gonna let me use, game? I'm kind of, uh... I'm starting to get concerned about what's going to happen when I press the explosion button because I have a feeling it's not going to be anything good. <laughs> this entire planet is going to be lit up like a warning sign to the rest of the universe. Like, don't come close. That planet is flashing red. It can't be good. That's right. I need my little warning beacons on every single part of this planet. This is not enough. We, we are we are not even close to having enough of these yet. It's kind of cool. It makes the water world look like space, like twinkling stars, if you notice how the stars are moving kind of in the background. And now we have so many of these under the surface of the water that the water is twinkling as well. Now, when we do this, obviously I have to go into super slow motion. Okay. They are just everywhere. And here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Now, how, how quickly do they fire in succession? Does it take a little bit? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. All the ones that had kind of like bounced off of the water world are exploding too. But so far, it's, it's a pretty smooth explosion. Like if you look at just how many there are, it really isn't that bad. We're down to 77% water world. Now the water world is fantastic at regenerating, so I expect it to do okay. But as if we kind of go in full speed here, there we are. Yeah, see, it's it's not uh, it's not that bad. It's kind of like getting a, you know, a pretty violent tan, I would say. But out of everything that we've blown up, there's still you know 60% left. So if you go ahead and really move it along here, look at that. The water world is incredibly resilient. I think we just evaporated 40% of the water world though. If you throw a planet inside of it, does it just like sink? Or does it, does it legitimately do anything? Oh, we're just throwing a full earth. I had no idea the water world was quite that big. Yeah, it just slurps up the earth. You know, here, have a lot of earths. More earths. All of the earths. Okay. Oh yeah, we're, we're getting rid of a lot of the water. The water is, in fact, starting to, you know, evaporate just from turning into steam, I would guess. I really don't know. 22%, 19%. The answer is always throw more Earths at the problem. Hold on here, we'll throw uh, a little bit of lightning in there too. Now, some of the lightning might end up shooting the Earths down, but that is a price I am completely prepared to pay. We are in the, like, decimal places of percentages at this point. 7%, 6%, actually went up for a second there, that was kind of weird. And there we go, the planet is finally considered smashed. There's still 3% left, I don't know where it is. It's probably just like a rain droplet at this point. I love that it says 2.33% left. There's nothing here. <laughs> and just because Cthulhu is obviously ridiculously thirsty. All right, Elder God. Feast your tentacles on this trove of delicious hydration. Gatorade planet! Go! And whoop! I can't even tell if it's drinking anything. Oh, it did! Cthulhu drank over 50% of the planet. He has now sated. Well, if there's one thing Solar Smash has taught me, it's to continue to drink lots of water. Hey, anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.